Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. What have I got for you today? It's another Zibit release. Um, during December, January, it wasn't much to do. Well, <clears throat> I'll rephrase it. it was lots to do, um, but I decided to take some time out and play with my sewing machine. Very hot days, what do you do? You sit under your air conditioner with your sewing machine and have a bit of a play. So I've loaded a load of hand sewn things into our Zibit store. I will not go through every one in this video. There are loads. Some I've only got one pack of, some I've got lots, just depending on how many materials I have. And some of these things I can remake again, some of them I can't. So if you see something you like, better grab it sooner rather than later. I've priced them um, at really affordable prices, plus you can still use the coupon code until the end of January which is YOU33 and gives you 33% off. You can use that code as many times as you like for many orders. Um, so that expires the 31st of January. So the first one I've got to show you is some vellum pockets. I found some um, vintage, older vellum in my stash. Um, it was from before my shop, so it would be about 12 years old. So I've sewn these into pockets. Um, where can I get one that I can show you? Um, so they're in a set of six different designs you can see there's white stitching down the side and I put I've put some of them have got pinking sheer tops some of them haven't so they're all pockets so you can pop them in your journals you can use them into a double pocket so just stick sort of the three sides down and then you've got like a double pocket you can do whatever you like with your junk journal so some only have a small piece of decoration on them some have like a complete front on them depending on what was on the vellum um, so I've got a few packs of those. As I said, I'm not going to show you everything I've got in the Zibit store. You will have to go over and have a look. Um, sorry about the rustling. I've got them in a box next to me. So these next ones are paper bags with pockets. So these ones, I've taken a larger paper bag and cut it down and sewn it. Alexis has done some of this sewing as well. So our sewing is quite straight. Sometimes it goes a bit funky. Sometimes our machine has a hiccup or two but I think that adds to it a lot of them I've left the strings on so you have the option of cutting them off some of them well that side has been cut off um, so this is a double pocket so it's got a paper bag so it's got a pocket here up the top and then it's got a pocket here now this top this pocket here is folded down I haven't inked or colored any of these I thought I'd leave it up to you and then you can color coordinate them to your projects so they all have this bag top like um, not original bag topper on the top and then I've just sewn around the edge so there are some of these with different colored sewing thread this one's got particularly white on it just love playing with all this thready stuff this one's white some of them have got black it depending on if you're wanting a subtle look or you're wanting a more um, darker look so these are some little 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 pockets So there's full descriptions with sizes and things. So these are like a coin envelope pocket. So they're nice and skinny. Some of them have the original bag topper. Some of them I've crinkle cut. With all these handmade items, when I put the sizes in, and I've explained that in the video, in the video, uh, sorry, explain that in the wording is give or take a centimeter on the sizes because some things are, as you can see, I've got a few of these trying to use up all the offcuts. Um, trying to channel, oh there goes a big truck, trying to channel Amanda Christina's use it up. Um, use everything up and don't waste anything. So when I cut the paper bags down I just made the pockets on the offcuts. Um, excuse the big truck that went past and excuse if you can hear my fan it's very hot here today but I wanted to get this done. Then I went and decided well I'm going to decorate some of my pockets. So as you can see this one's got black um, sewing around the edge oh, big truck go away it's got the little pocket here still and it's got a sewn piece of music paper on the top so these ones are like a random assortment so each of them are slightly different that will be explained in the descriptions as well some of them I've got a few of some of them I don't have many of so I've done a lot of sort of using the brown paper bag pockets I was having so much fun doing these and I may be doing some more in the future what else have I got to show you? Oh, some I even took a little further and I got a bit, bit, bit cluey and did some embellishment ones. So these ones are, again, some of the offcuts. Um, so you've got 
they're a one pocket little paper bag but they've got a piece of music note piece of music paper or a piece of book text and then some images on it like this one already had images so I've just um, sewn that on what I've done is I've sewn this on first before I sewed the pocket so you can still it's a functional pocket so these ones are all sent randomly these ones I put a bit of um, crepe paper beside them so there's photos of all of these and they're slightly different I tried to do things in sets so you sort of know what you're getting because I like to know that when I'm ordering stuff um, oh no there's these ones as well so I did some big ones I did some small ones so these ones either come with a feather on them or a butterfly so they're a larger pocket so you've got a pocket at the top you've got a pocket here and you've also got a pocket here now you just need to put a little bit of tape or glue under here if you want as a pocket or it can act as a belly band so I've got a die cut butterfly sewn on with some music text paper so you've either got the butterfly design and the feather there's a strip of lace down here and what I've done is I've put a strip of coloured paper under the lace just to give it a bit of colour um, so I thought they come out rather cute and that's sewn with pink thread so I just just decided to match up the thread with what I was doing so I just trying to put these in back in my box in a particular order oh then these ones then I decided to start experimenting I've only made a couple of these but I will be making more now these are really cool these have a plastic insert in the bag so the bag is, a, this particular one's a piece of music paper on the back and it's got the bag front on the front and then it's got a piece of plastic. So isn't this a cool pocket? So you can slip all sorts of things, and I didn't bring anything with me, into the front. So I've got a few of those with the music paper. Again, some of them have a pinking top, uh, like pinking scissors top. Some of them have a, like the original bag topper. Just depends on what piece of the bag I was using. So I've made a few with the plastic toppers because I sort of got carried away and liked what they looked like. So let me pull out a couple more of those. I'm going to pull these ones out of the bag, the same as last time, but they have got the book text behind them as opposed to the music note paper, which will look really, really cool. Um, what else have we got? Oh, we've got these ones where I combine the two. So these ones have book text in the back. They have music paper on the front, and again, they have your clear pocket. Now, with all the clear pockets, I've actually stuck the clear paper to this top piece of paper all around the shape, or as much as I can get, so that it, it's not just sewn around the edge here, it's stuck with double-sided tape around the opening. These would be great inked or um, inked um, or painted or um, you could even tea dye them as well I may do some tea dye ones in the future you never know let me know if you want something tea dyed or want something different and I can certainly accommodate then I got a bit of fancy and I found some lace and decided to add some lace to these ones so I reversed these ones so I've got music paper on the back I've got book text on the front and we've got lace down the side now sometimes the lace does vary because I ran out and I kept going um, but these ones have all this pretty embroidered lace on them so as you can see I got a bit carried away and did a few of these I had so much fun doing these and they're good just to sit in front of the television and do um, then I did some pockets with some pictures on the front so this is a, the botanical one so each of them have a different picture as you can see I was experimenting with different widths of my sewing machine so again these ones have the pocket up the top this paper bag the pocket here and this is also a pocket as well so it's like a one two three three triple pocket um, so each of the flower designs are different so you just receive these ones at random all out of a botanicals book and I've done some in white thread and black personally I like the black but I thought people might not like the dark colour they would prefer like in a shabby chic album or they'd prefer like a white or a subtler colour so that's halfway through my box what else have we got oh then I was experimenting some more so these ones are all made out of um, 
music paper. So they're like a little library pocket. So they've got music paper on the back and music paper on the front, but then they've got lace on the front. So again, I've left the dangles on so you can, if you wanted to, I've left the lace at the bottom free. So you could slip a little picture up underneath. Um, I sort of done these as pocket starters so you can go and finish embellish them as you wish or there's some that are fully embellished which are really cool okay these are really cool these come in white and black stitching I had some dot adhesive that I had years ago and I found the pad of it and it was all dried up so I pulled it all off and these are like glassine sheets that were protecting the adhesive from sticking to each other and I love how they crinkle and I'm sorry about the crinkling. So they're as close to glassine bags as I've found here in Australia. So these are a limited quantity. If you want these, grab them because I don't have any more of this stuff left. Um, but they're just a single pocket and we've got white and black stitching with those. So if you wanted to, you could go and put like the circle nick at the top that some people do with half a punch. Um, you could do a decorative top on them and you can embellish them as well. My daughter was saying it when I was producing these, haven't you done enough, mum? And I just kept going with different ideas and then she come down and did some of my sewing. So I like the glassine bag effects, so I thought, what else can I turn into glassine bags? So these are actually a bit hard to see on the white, but these are made out of baking paper. So you've got one pocket at the back and you've got a pocket at the front and they've both got the crinkle cut tops. And then, of course, if you just stuck it down on three sides, you could make um, a pocket at the back as well. So each of these are slightly different um, with the baking paper, which I thought was really, really cool. What else did I do? And then I did some baking paper ones with a piece of lace on the top. So again, the lace is not sewed down at the bottom. It's only sewed on the sides and then the top, and this is a pocket. I just love the sound of this. This is really cool. What else have I got in my box to show you? Not wanting to make this video too long. Okay, we'll show you these ones. <clears throat> Sorry about a bit of ruffling. Okay, I um, love working in altered books, so I remove a lot of pages. So these come from a sewing book or a needle craft book, and these are all pockets. These ones were sort of styled on Wendy Mason's three pocket um, three pocket embellishment she made so these particular ones my machine was having an interesting time and some of the sewing is really funky which I love because it suits the sewing theme so these would be great in a needlework journal um, <coughs> so again they have two pockets on the front so you've got one big pocket here and a little pocket here um, so the vintage these are from about the 70s the book um, so it's nice quality paper they look nice inked and each of them as you can see they're sort of different and when I did them I tried to do different things here so you could see where the pockets are if you didn't want to ink them and you want to left them plain so you can sort of see where the divide of the pockets are some are colorful some are plain just depends on what was on the book paper I'll lose my voice in a minute I've been talking too much okay what have we got here what are these ones oh these are like um, out of the music paper these are like what I call my library pockets, so they're just one single pocket just here. I fold it over the top just to make it a nicer edge and sewn all around it. So again, you could turn it into a double pocket by just putting glue on three sides. You could fold this down and make a triangle. You can do all sorts of things to it. I was just having fun making stuff. So then we've got, these are the ones I actually originally started with. So these are all made out of an encyclopedia book. So a lot of them have little pictures. And these ones again sent at random. So again they have the three pockets. And I've tried to offset slightly the text here so you can see the different pockets. Um, on most of them, like, or some of them, they are all lined up. It just depends on what look I was looking for. So there's some different ones in here. Again, these would look really cool, inked or, I love the tank, um, inked or coloured to suit your project. I may do some already pre-inked ones and just 
you can stick them on your page in the future. I just didn't want to get my inks out this particular few days. I've also altered a map book and I had some map pages of Australia so I've made some little three pocket map. I only got a few of the map ones. So I like that these have the three pockets on the top. So as you can see I've been very busy with my machine. It was so funny. At one stage I went through about three lots of um, three lots of cotton in about one day. Alexis is getting quite sick of the machine going. <laughs> so I managed to find some little white candy bags so I thought I'd dress some of them up and put some purple um, purple themed patterned old scrapbook paper that I found. Um, so this this was one of the original paper pads I had when I started scrapbooking so I thought it'd be time to use it up. So you get a random selection of the colours. I've only sewn these on three sides so that you can use that as a tap spot on the front or just if you want it as a pocket simply put a line of glue or a piece of double sided tape on the bottom but it's a start of a decorated candy bag so they are rather cute and then I got just super fancy with these particular ones again I went back to the plastic inserts because I just liked them so much so I made some small ones. So these are the ovals. Again, I'll pick a darker one to show you. Again, I've got book text at the back. I have got plastic insert. So this would be nice to put like a tag with a photo in it that matches the insert. And I've sewn around the two sides. These would be really nice embellished. I have made a set of embellished ones to show you. I'm hoping, I'm going through this pretty quickly, I'm hoping not to have this video too long, but there is loads to show you. Then I decided I needed to add some butterflies to some of them, so these are some of the butterfly ones. So I've got music paper on the back, again I've got the clear insert, see my finger. So these are a really nice size for a journal and I've got a butterfly on the top. Butterflies are only sewn down the middle, so they do flop around, which is really cute. So I've made a few of those. Alexis, as I said, has done some of this sewing as well. Most of this was my, my sewing, but she's done a lot of the scrappy sewing, which I'll show you in a minute. So I decided to make some pockets and add some lace. Now these ones do have different lace on them. So we've got different sorts of lace that I was using up. And I've decided to do a butterfly cutout instead. So again, you've got book text on the back, cardstock or pattern paper on the front, the butterfly cutout. And then we've got a piece of lace down the bottom. So I just love how these turned out. I can't wait to make some peacocking themed ones for my peacock album. And that will be really cool. And I may... Um, have some of those for sale we'll see how much stuff I've got then I decided to do some feather ones so instead of a butterfly on the front these are a feather and then lace these ones are all the same lace so again you've got your pocket with your feather I just I don't know something about the plastic ones I really really liked and did a fair few of as you can see I sort of did them in batches which was um, interesting so okay last but not last but not least I found these at the op shop the other day and it said made in India on them and they're actually real pressed flowers and they're a card on sort of this handmade paper. You can sort of see flecks of like the cotton and stuff in the paper. But I thought if we were going to use these in our journals and these are actually real flowers, they would get damaged. So I decided to sew a plastic front over the top of them to protect them. So you can use, they come with an envelope made out of the same sort of handmade paper with the flex in it. So you could use it as a journal page and like sew it in your signature like this or you could sew your envelope into a signature and use this as like a journaling piece. So I have sewn around the edge of all of them. They are slightly different so it is a bit of a lucky dip which one you get. So I thought they would be fun for our junk journals as well. A couple last things I will show you. These are three Oddy Soddy bags. So these ones were, um, there's only one of each of these bags and they were sort of the, 
the odd sizes of things or the experiments of things. Um, so this was a quite a small pocket out of some of the small scraps. Um, this was a long skinny pocket. This was a butterfly one. I was trying the butterfly on the side, but I did, didn't like it. I decided to put the butterfly at the top. So what I did was bagged up all my oddy bits um, into... Hang on just one moment. I've got someone at my front door. Sorry about that. So each of these bags have different odd bits in them. This is what I was going to do with the bags. I was going to make them clear. I didn't particularly like it. I liked the paper on the back. There's a file folder. Um, and these two envelopes um, have been made on the envelope board and we've just done a boo-boo with an extra crease line. So I popped those in and these just fold up into be an envelope. All you've got to do is stick them together. So there's three of those sort of oddy soddy bags that I've put together and I've got one last thing to show you and then that is my release. So in channeling <coughs> Amanda's Use Everything Up we have a ton of pleated scraps. Now I've they had a lot of long skinny off cuts so what I've done is I've actually taken them and pleated them and sewn down the middle. So you get a variety of different book pages, graph pages, um, some of them are plain, some of them are brown paper, some of them are matte paper. So I will give you a good variety. Some of them are coloured cotton, some of them are black, some of them are white. Just depends. Well that one's got black on one side and white on the other side. Um, it just depends. So there is a whole bunch of these. Some of them are made out of the baking paper. All the scraps I just did this for. They're great for putting into clusters and they're great for... Um, putting down the edge of a page or a pocket so there is a whole bunch of these. Lexus did a lot of these sewings. Um, so all of them are, I call them my funky um, pleats because they're not all even, they're all sort of funky, some of them are off to the side a bit, it's just a bit of embellishment for your pages. Thank you very much for watching and pop over to my Zibit store, I will leave the link to that below and I'll also leave the link to the um, or the code below as well. Happy shopping ladies and thank you very much for supporting my store. And Alexis appreciates it too. She loves when the orders come through because it means she gets a bit more pocket money when she helps pack them up. Bye for now. I thought I'd add to the end of this video um, the still photos of all the products I put in my Zibit store. So these are the same ones you'll see in the Zibit store. Just to give you an idea of the other items that were available. Sorry this video is a bit rushed at the end. I did have a visitor come to my door and I was trying to get it done. And I want to get it uploaded so you guys can go check out my Zibit store. So I'll leave you with the still photos. Thank you. Bye for now.